Saturday marks the three-year anniversary of the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred, swamping parts of Haywood County with deadly force. News 13's Rex Hodge checks in with the impacts that remain. Nearly three years after Fred and the hard-hit Laurel Bank campground remains essentially a ghost town. I still cry. Um. For Sherry MacArthur, it's almost like Fred's floodwaters camped out at her Laurel Bank campground August 17th, 2021. It swept campers away and four of her people living in them, two others living nearby, also died. She had to move to a family home down the road a bit. I mean, I see grass, I see pretty, it was killing me. I will not move back there. God told me that is done. Months and years passed, debris piles piled up, now mostly removed with only remnants of life that used to be here, but emotions remain. I don't hide as much as I used to. Depression has been whew, bad. I'm six feet tall. To give you an idea of how high the water got three years ago, all you need to do is look at the bark line on that tree. Steve Eubanks and Dale Robertson had camped part of the year at Laurel Bank. Just everything we had was gone. We couldn't identify one thing. It took it right off the foundation. Friends of ours that also live in the campground said, don't come back. Everything's gone. Both are now set up at an adjacent campground. Laurel Bank now essentially an empty lot. MacArthur unable to reopen it as a campground. They would not give me any permits. It's too much flood zoning. That chapter, MacArthur says, is closed. But the flood stories, even three years later, continue. To document them, local author Julianne Rhodes has written a book called Mountain Tsunami. Get your Kleenexes out because these stories are heart-wrenching. As you can imagine, some of the details are very, very difficult to read. She wants to honor the lives lost. So does Canton's mayor. His town hit hard, too. But he says there's resolve in Haywood County. We find a way to put one foot in front of the other, whether it's a flood, whether it's a mill closing, whether it's just the day-to-day -day tragedies of life. You have to find the ways to keep going. MacArthur sees improvements since Fred three years ago. There were no, no warning. But now she says a new river gauge just went up over the Pigeon River. We'll have some type of a noise alarm for, you know, the river's getting up. She'll take the positives as they come day by day. Maybe I'm getting better. And MacArthur says there'll be a gathering at the Crusoe Community Center on Saturday for anybody who would like to attend. Reporting from Crusoe, Rex Hodge, News 13.